Hi, in this video, we are going to talk more about Project Explorer, how to add files, how to create new files. So this is the project window. Uh, currently it is not saved. Uh, let us first save it, save it. Whenever we create a project, we need to save it first. So let me quickly save it on the desktop uh, with the name of, let's say, uh, let me create a quick folder and let's name it lab view 101 right so in this folder let me quickly rename the lab view project also as lab view 101 now as you can see initially it was untitled and now the name of the project is lab view 101.lv project so this is the name that you can see over here as well as over here now in order to create new files what you can do is you can simply press ctrl plus n then you will see a new vi will pop up and the second way to create new vi is go to my computer click on my computer over here in the project explorer window right click on it and you can see new and then vi and then apart from vi we can create some virtual folders type definition library variable io class class when we work with object oriented programming actor x control and so on as you can see over here targets and devices this function this option is used to add new targets and devices as in hardware right if i click on it you will see it will discover an existing target or devices which is connected to my pc or we can create a new target or device as per our convenience right so if you have connected anything uh, into your PC, uh, you will see all the targets and devices available over here, right? Giving giving on the condition condition that uh, the proper device drivers has been already installed. So, uh, other apart from new, we can directly add some files that you have already created in your system, or you can add some folders. As you can see over here, we have two types of folders in LabVIEW. One is snapshot and the other is auto populating so we are going to check here in this video why when we should use snapshot folder and when we should use auto populating folder right let me quickly save this vi in this folder in this video also we are going to talk about project hierarchy so whenever we create a new project uh, whether it is a large scale application or medium scale application this should be the ideal hierarchy that we are creating uh, we should have a folder of project name then we should create a folder named as controls and one is called sub vis and then we should have a folder of main vi right so the difference between these is in controls folder we are going to save all the type definitions file type definition files we are going to study later what are the type definitions file in the main vi we are going to save all the vis of which we want the front panel to be shown right so not all the vi front panel you want to be shown in front of your customer so all the front panels which you want to show in your application it should be in this folder and sub vi are the rest of the sub vis or the vis uh, that, that are working on the back end right so this should be the ideal hierarchy let me quickly save in the main vi name as main and vi right so now as you can see i have created i've added this main vi in this project now let us quickly add all the three folders that we have just created we'll go to my computer right click on it and then go to add and let's let's click on folder auto populating after clicking it will ask which folder you want to add right so let us quickly add this main vi folder click on select folder and you can see this main vi folder is over here right so inside this main vi folder we have one vi which is named as main vi correct now the other type of folder now let us add other type of folder which is folder snapshot now i have created so it is currently currently asking me which folder i want to add so let us quickly add this controls folder current folder now as you can see the current folder has been added now you can see uh, at the moment there is no file inside this controls let us quickly 
uh, you know, add any kind of file in this folder. Explore. Let's go to this controls folder. Okay, main vi controls and let us quickly add one dot txt file name as text test right now as you can see when we added this auto populating folder that is main vi folder uh, you notice that the main vi was already added automatically right we don't have to add it manually but in controls folder i have added one txt file but it is not reflecting over here right so the major difference in auto populating is it is it duplicates the same hierarchy as it is in your pc but in virtual folders or in snapshot folders you have to do all the addition or deletion of files manually so in order to add file in the control we have to go to add file and then click on this test file right now as you can see we have test.txt over here now even if i uh, let's suppose if I delete main vi file in the main vi folder, you can see it is automatically reflected in this auto populating folder. But if I delete this test.txt file, now let's see that file has not been deleted from the project explorer. I have to delete it manually, go to right click on the file and click on remove from project. So the basic difference in the virtual and auto populating folder is auto, -pop auto populating folder remains the same hierarchy or duplicates the same hierarchy as it is in your PC or your laptop. But in virtual or snapshot folder, you have to add or delete files manually. So this is the basic difference. Now, uh, so we have added some, let me just quickly redo the deleted file under delete and undo delete now we have again main vi so this is the main vi again let us quickly add another folder which is auto populating again sub vi select folder we can always convert our virtual folder into auto populating folder by right clicking on it and go to convert to auto populating folder we have to select the folder again and click on select and now as you can see the icon has been changed of the auto populating folder so this is how we create hierarchy in project explorer and how we create files or if we want to add another file or if we want to remove any file from the explorer right so we cannot remove anything from the output auto populating folder we have to delete it from the project uh, not from the project hierarchy but from the hierarchy in our pc right now dependency is the in under the dependencies we have all the files which are dependent to our existing vi's or sub vi's that are not directly added into our projects right so let's suppose if we add uh, let me quickly check if we can do any kind of hierarchy over here uh, let me quickly add some uh, where it is let me see we go to Signal vision instrument IO instrument drivers and then let's let's place one driver of key side and let's initialize it right so as you can see I have added one function node or sub one vi that is not directly added into my hierarchy but it has some dependencies on other vi's right so in order that your projects does not seem to be uh, uh, it does not seem to be you know uh, missing some files it add or it automatically adds some files which are directly related to this vi under the dependencies section and now if we expand it you can see this library has been automatically added right so under dependencies uh, this section is used to add all the uh, vi related dependencies now under this section we have build specifications Build specification is used to create executable files, which you will use to distribute your source code. Uh, if you right click on it, go to new, we have application exe, we have installer. Every exe needs an installer. So before deploying the exe, we have to create one 
installer as well apart from the uh, these two options we have some package packet packed library we have option to convert our existing code into dll source distribution or we can even convert our source code into zip file so these are the sections or the options that the project explorer window has to offer